Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a 360 degree image to your website. So here you can see we have this 360 degree image over here and we can go ahead and pan around this image. And we can even zoom in and zoom out by scrolling up and down. And here we also have some settings over here. So here we can see we have this settings option and if you click on that, we have some controls. So you can go ahead and use the sensor or the mouse or you can even go ahead and change the mode. So if you have a 3D cardboard, you can go ahead and use that to view this image. So there are a lot of options over here and you can go ahead and check them out. And then we also have an option for making it full screen. So if I click on this option, we can see that the image is viewed in full screen and we can go ahead and pan around the image. And if we stay still for some time, we can see that the image starts moving. So this is what we're going to do in this video. So let's get started. All right, so I have opened up a blank project in VS Code and I have this folder called images over here. And in that we have the 360 degree image. This is how it looks right now, but we have to add it in a 360 degree viewer and uh, then it will look all right. Now you can just google for 360 degree images free and you will get a lot of links. So I have downloaded the image from this website over here. So if I go over here, we can see that there are a lot of 360 panoramic images over here in this website. You can go ahead and download any of these from here and uh, it is also free to use in your website. So let's go ahead and uh, start by creating an index.html file. So I'll just click on new file and I'll just name it index.html. And let's also create a CSS file. So I'll just name it style.css. And we'll also create a JavaScript file. So we'll just name it main.js. Right, first of all, let's create the design and then I'll show you how to add the 360 degree image. Let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you have this option of just typing exclamation and pressing tab. And you will have this basic HTML5 code. And let's link our style.css file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And here I'll just type style.css. And we'll also link our uh, JavaScript file over here. So let's type script colon src and here we'll just type main.js. Now the markup is really simple. We have a heading and uh, we have an image on the right. So let's create a division with the class of main container. And in that we'll have an h1 and uh, we'll just type hi welcome. And then we'll create a division to hold the 360 degree image. So let's create a division with the class of image container. Right now let's go to our CSS and start styling this. Now we're going to add the image inside the image container using the JavaScript. We'll be using a library for that. But before that, let's go ahead and style this. So I'll just open this uh, design in our browser. So I have this extension called live server over here in VS Code. So you can just install it. And once you do that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see our design is being displayed. We have this heading over here. And uh, if I right click and inspect, we can see that we also have this image container over here. So now let's go ahead and start styling this. So in our styler CSS, we'll just target the body and we'll just remove the margin first of all. So it will remove all the default margin in our web page. And let's target the main container. And we'll set the display to flex so that the heading will be on the left and the image on the right. So let's type display of flex. And we'll also set a height of 100 viewport height which is the height of the browser and we'll also align everything to the center. So I'll just type align items center and let's set the background color to a dark color. So I'll just type one, one, one. Now, if you go back to our design, we can see that we have this dark background color right now. Let's style uh, the image container. So I'll just type main container image container. Now we want the image container and also the heading to have same amount of width. So for that, you can just type flex of one, to this image container and even for the heading we can just type flex of one so just type image container h1 and flex of one and let's just add a background color so that we can see what is going on we'll also add a height of 100 percent and uh, i think we have some problems in the code so it should be main container h1 so let's change this to main container but right now we can see we have 50 percent width for both these elements now let's style the h1 so let's go back over here and for the h1 let's set 
text align to center and uh, let's set the color of the text to white and let's also add a font family and we'll set it to railway sans serif now let's set the text transform to uppercase and uh, we'll also set the font size to 40 pixels and also the font weight to 300 and let's also add some spacing between these characters so for that you have to type letter spacing and I will set it to 10 pixels alright I think that's basically it with the heading now it's time for us to add the 360 degree image over here on the right now we're going to use this library called panolens.js to view our 360 degree image on our website I will leave the link of this library in the description of this video now let's go over here to documentation and see how to get started so the first thing you have to do is add the 3JS library and then you also need to add the panolens.js library so here you can see we have to add both the links in our html file and then we have to add some script over here so first of all let's go ahead and get these javascript libraries so i'll just right click over here and open in a new tab so here you can see the code so you can just select all by pressing ctrl a and copy it from here and then you can go over here to our uh, project and we'll just create a new folder for that so let's type js and uh, in this we'll create a new file and uh, we'll just name it 3.min.js you can name this anything you want and uh, here I'll just paste the code and let's save it alright the code has been saved now let's copy the code of uh, the other library so let's open this one right here and we'll do the same thing I'll just copy everything from here and we'll create a new file and we'll just name it panolens.min.js and we'll just paste it over here and save it now we can see that there's some error in this code right here we can see that there are two errors I'll show you how to fix that but before that let's include these two libraries in our HTML so here I'll just type script src and we'll just type js slash 3 minjs and I'll just duplicate this down here and uh, here we'll just type panolens minjs now let's add the 360 degree image to our image container so we'll be using javascript for that so let's go over here to main.js file we have already linked our main.js file over here in the html so let's go over here and first of all we need to create a new panolens image so for that you have to type const and we can name the image whatever we want so I'll just name it panorama image and then you have to type equals new panel lens dot image panorama and here in parenthesis you have to have the link of the image so I'll just add double quotes and we'll just type images slash and uh, let's see what is the name of the image so we have image one dot jpeg so let's type image one dot jpeg now the next thing we need to do is reference the image container so here we can see we have created a division with a class of image container and we want the image to be inside this image container so let's reference that so here I'll just type const image container equals document dot query selector and here I'll just type dot image container and then you have to create a panel lens viewer so for that you can just type const and you can name this anything you want so I'll just name it viewer and then you have to type equals new panel lens dot viewer and here we can have different properties for this panoramic image so we'll just create an object and here we'll type container and we have to set it to the image container so this is the image container right here so I'll just type image container and now the last line of code that we need to add is viewer dot add and then here you have to pass this panorama image so I'll just copy this and paste it down here All right now let's go back to our design and let's refresh this and we can see that the image is not being displayed over here so let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's go to the console and here we can see we have an issue and it says that the 3JS version is not matched so we have to use the version 105 of 3JS to make it work so let's get the link of the 105th version of 3JS so just google for cdnjs 3js and you'll find this website cdnjs.com so let's go to the website and here we can see the 3js library and uh, here's the cdn 
so we have to get the version 105 so let's click on this version and let's select 105 and let's copy this link from here so I'll just click on copy script tag and uh, let's go to our index.html file and uh, I'll just delete this line of code for 3JS and I'll just paste the link over here and now we can also delete this 3 minjs file so I'll just right click over here and click on delete all right now let's go back to our design and uh, let's see whether it works and now we can see that the image is being displayed over here and uh, we can go ahead and pan around this image by just clicking and dragging and we can also zoom in and zoom out by scrolling and we have the settings over here and you can go ahead and change these settings and we also have the button for the full screen so this is the full screen so that's basically how you add a 360 degree image to your website now let me show you how to make it rotate automatically when you load the page so let's go back to our javascript and here we need to add one more property so we'll just type auto rotate and we'll set it to true and now we can see that the image is rotating automatically and if I click on this image and if I drag it somewhere it stays there for some time and then it starts rotating again we can also control the speed of this rotation so let's go back and here we'll just type auto rotate speed and we can set it to any value over here so you can go ahead and experiment with these values I'll just type 0 0.3 and now we can see that we have a slow rotation so that's basically how you add auto rotation to the 360 degree image now the last thing I'm going to show you is how to add this 360 degree image as the background of your website so let's go back to our CSS and let's make some basic changes over here so let's go to our style.css file and here for the image I'll just remove the flex one from here and I'll just add some more styles over here so I'll just set the position to fixed and uh, I'll just set the width to 100% and let's go back to our website and refresh and now we can see that the image spans the whole width and the height of the screen and uh, now let's bring the heading to the front so let's go back over here and uh, in the H1 let's type Z index and we'll set it to 100 and now the heading is in front of the image let's also make some changes to this uh, heading so I'll just change the font size to 60 pixels and we'll also change the font weight to 800 let's also add a text shadow and we'll set it to 2 pixels 16 pixels 16 pixels and RGBA 0 0 0 and 0 0.3 now we can see that the heading looks alright in front of the image and we'll also remove the option of selecting the heading so here we'll just type pointer events and we'll set it to none and now we cannot select this text and uh, we can control the image from here and we'll also remove these two controls from here so for that you have to go to main.js file and uh, here you have to type control bar and uh, we have to set it to false and now we can see that the controls are not being displayed so that's basically how you add a 360 degree image to your website so that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day